Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. So today we'll discuss about one more SAPSD enhancement, which is relevant to invoicing. So first of all, before going to understand what's the requirement, let's go through the VF04 transaction code. I'm going to the T code VF04. You've seen VF04. In VF04, we can uh, create the invoices by specifying the parameters like uh, a billing type, billing date, and uh, delivery or sales order number. And uh, coming to ARP data, sales area, shipping point. And coming to customer data, we can specify sold to party number here and destination country and sort criteria. So here we can see the only one custom, only the customer what we can enter here is that sold to party only. Apart from sold to party number, system won't allow us to enter any other numbers. So it will accept only sold to party number only. Suppose if I want to give payer number, I want to create the invoices payer wise, or I want to create the invoices shipping condition wise. Do we see shipping condition here? No, we don't have the field shipping condition here. And I want to create the invoice by passing ship to customer also. Do you have the field ship to party, payer, and shipping condition here? Do we see the field here? No, we don't see those three fields. Let me repeat that. We don't see ship to party, payer, and shipping condition in this VF04 standard transaction code. So we're not able to see this because it's not available here. That is the requirement from business. So business want to create invoices based on the ship to party, payer, and shipping condition. So based on these three parameters, also they want to run the billing bad jobs. Currently, Bad job runs based on this variant only, where we can enter only sold to party number only. But we want we would we are going to add three more fields: ship to party, payer, and shipping condition. So it is not recommended a suggestible way to add the those three fields into this existing standard code VF04 because if something goes wrong, then SAP won't provide any support to us. They will say that you added some custom fields to this VF04 transaction code. So you have to bear the, or you have to face the consequences. So to avoid unnecessary problems, what we are going to do, we are going to develop one new report by copying this VF04. Okay, that's what I have mentioned here. Okay, invoicing job should run. Invoice job should run based on shipping condition, ship to party, payer. In addition to the existing fields in VF04, based on these three, based on this three fields also job should run that is the requirement from business so what we are going to do we are not going to modify the vf04 transaction code we are not going to modify vf04 instead we'll develop one new report copying this VF04. Okay, I have already developed one uh, custom report for that. Okay, this is the custom report we have developed by copying VF04. You see in this custom report, we have this field shipping condition, but you don't see this field in standard VF04. So we have added that field. And coming to other field, ship to party and payer. So we have added these two field customer fields under customer data section 
but in the VF04, we don't see that. So we have added these three fields. Now, what we can do, we can add all the parameters, billing type, delivery central, we can input sales area, everything we can input. And additionally, we can input shipping condition, ship to party, and payer also. So the job will pick the relevant data for this given combination of uh, parameters. Then it will look for deliveries or invoices. Then it will uh, create the invoice. So this is the development of the new report. Development of the new report by adding additional fields and creating the invoicing or billing documents. Okay. So, yeah, so I, I taken the screenshot for the newly developed report you see here. So what we did is that we have scheduled this report as a background job. So by entering all the additional values, shipping condition we have entered, ship to party payer, along with other field values, the job runs successfully. And I can show you the snippet of the code. So first what we are doing, you see here, we are writing a salt query to get the data from LIPS and VBPA and VBAK by using that inner join concept and looking to get the data for REWE, right? And making sure that this uh, job runs only for this criteria only. So initially, if you see that, uh, you see, first of all, we are calling this VF04. As I said, the background report is SD build dill for VF04. The program is SD build dill. First, we are calling this uh, program and getting all the data. You see, simply we're calling the VF04 and getting all the data. If I execute, I will get the data, right? I am getting all the data now. After getting the data, then I am making sure that those data will be relevant to the, I mean, we, that should match with the shipping condition, payer, and ship to party, what we have given in the initial screen or variant. That should match. If that doesn't match, means that should be removed from this processing the job. So remember this. So. To do the validation, we are adding this addition logic here. So then we are preparing this uh, one uh, range table after that we are calling the function module job open. So we are going to create the job now by using the function module job open. When that is done, then we are again calling this same program sd build -del, to create the invoices so we are calling this uh, VF04 program and creating the invoice. Once uh, that is done, then we are closing this job. So two function models, job open, then submit that uh, SD build uh, report, then close the job by using the FM job close. So by using like this, we can simply achieve the requirement of addition of three fields to the VF04. We can add it, but it's not recommended. It's not recommended to add like this. That's why we are going with the custom report development by copying VF04, then adding all the required fields here. Okay, friends, so this is about this announcement today. We'll meet in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks, everyone.